believe and we see every time that, that the old dark continent is, is, is replaced just for the good. It's certainly not utopia yet, but there's a huge amount of progress and I think a lot of the figures. Um, Africa music is in. Africa fashion, most definitely. Um, football, unfortunately, South African football, maybe not, maybe not at the moment, but Africa football, and I'll show you a bit later on how important it is to our business. Um, Nollywood, I guess you've all heard about, and I'll also show you a bit about our little piece of Nollywood that we have, and how important it is, high tech and, and pride in Africa. It really is, Africa is in. And we really look at it, and if one were to have looked 15 or 20 years ago, a lot of those kind of words would have, would have described Africa. And we see a lot of, it's not perfect yet, but we genuinely see a massive change, and a, ma a massive change for the positive in Africa. So, we've been there 15 years, we've got about a million and a half DSTV subscribers. Sounds a lot, not really, it's a tough, tough, tough market. To, in comparison, and there's always this thing, we talk about South Africa, and African people say, oh, you're not part of Africa. But our South Africa business, also 15 years, um, about three and a half mil, um, so there's naturally a huge amount of work still to do in Africa. A couple of the mistakes we made. When we started, you know, very, very clever, well, Africa is somewhere like one big country, you know. Uh, it's just up there, Africa. Um, well, and we kind of, we said, well, maybe the East is a little, maybe Kenya is a little bit different from Nigeria. And we, we thought we were being extremely clever. We know pay TV, I mean, after all, we invented MNET. Um, so let's send South Africans into, let's pioneer with South Africans into Africa, because we know pay TV. Um, and we're sure they will love everything South African. <laughs> and these are genuine, uh, genuine things. I've been there so long, I can promise you. And let's do the marketing from South Africa, because after all, we know Africa. And surely one size fits all. Big, big mistakes. So did we learn some lessons? The first one really is get involved at grassroots level. Show that you're not a kind of um, imperialist that comes in there. Um, and put something in to the business that you want to be involved in. Let, let those countries that you, that you want to do well in, let them know that you're interested. This kind of thing, not in every country, but you know, in South Africa you would have seen the super sport Let's Play, and trying to move initiatives like that where we really add something to the African continent it really, really helps a huge amount. So show that you're not just there to take their money. African soccer. There cannot be anything more important. And what's interesting is that what we discovered is that we had these massive, this massive love for soccer, but a, most of the African soccer leagues really badly run, not even getting onto TV. We've got people in Africa now, we've got into those leagues and built them and have people helping them build the soccer leagues because we know it's good for TV. African entertainment. Again, one size doesn't fit all, and, and you saw about Nollywood earlier on. Two of our most popular channels in Africa are called Africa Magic. They, they consist, and we started off mainly West African movies, normally made in about seven days, um, <laughs> where you, you often see the, the mic, you know, hanging there. <laughs> Unbelievable when you understand the power of those movies and the, and the power has come back to South Africa. On our DSTV platform in South Africa, really, really powerful. We didn't realize, we thought they, they only kind of liked Hollywood.